Hello everyone, and welcome back to Cyborg X. It has been a long time, mum, since I last uploaded something proper and not very mysterious like my last video. Well, it's finally the 20th of June, which means I can finally say welcome to the rebirth protocol of Cyborg X. So firstly, let me just explain quickly where I've been. So GCSEs are exams we do in the UK when we reach my age, which is about 16, which determine if we can go to college, kind of. And I've just been doing them and not focusing really on YouTube or anything like that because I want to do well on them. And hopefully I have done because I'm done now. Which means I have 11 weeks of summer to do whatever I want. Excluding the time I'm off because I have a job. So I need to go do that as well. But YouTube will also be in there. And I can actually do it again. It'll be great and hopefully you will all enjoy. Okay, so firstly, the channel is dead. I've been gone for too long. And when I was here, I wasn't having that much fun. I was having fun playing Xenoverse 2, obviously, because that was just from me and Strong Strange. And playing anything with Tom. That was fun. Collabs were fun. Me doing individual videos were not as fun, because I just felt awkward playing a game and talking to you at the same time. No offence on your side, obviously. It's just my own problem where I couldn't really communicate as well, and I felt generally just awkward. But, with the changes that are coming, that should not be a problem anymore for us. Because the new change is a new aspect on the channel. No more just purely gaming. We have something brand new, which is something I've always wanted to do. Actually, for quite a while I wanted to do something like this, and I want to do it when I'm older. And that is programming. So, what is this reborn? protocol you've been hearing about and by hearing about I mean you've been hearing me mention it well there's actually three things that go for the reborn protocol which is PAG what that means is programming art and games so you may be wondering why am I doing this new term well as I mentioned gaming purely wasn't as fun for me but this isn't just gonna be me teaching you how to program me showing you mm, programming of myself that didn't make much sense, but I mean, I'm not going to be just showing you videos of me programming or me doing art or me doing something with games. Again, explain later. I'm going to be using this as a diary or my experience as a beginner programmer to my experience as a more developed programmer. Hopefully, if I can become more developed. That's why I'm doing this change, to be honest. I want to be able to have fun showing you what I'm doing, hopefully teach some of you which I'll explain more later and use this as a diary for the future so I can show people why I started off like this but I put in a lot of effort I think I will I definitely will and I got to here so what am I gonna do for the P that stands for programming and there's two main things I'm focusing on which is Python and C sharp on unity so Python may be basic but you can do so much on it if you have that imagination like I'm gonna show you right now one of the things you can do. So this is Python here, and what I'm quickly gonna show you is what this program is. So I'm gonna go for hard, and you may be wondering, wait, what am I doing? Well, basically, you've got to try and guess a number that the computer has chosen, between zero and 100, and I've just given myself five tries. That's That doesn't seem too hard, but when you see the amount of code that has to go into it, you, you may rethink your opinions on Python, and you may actually wanna start going into it more, because you can actually do quite a lot of text-based stuff with it. Not really graphical, except you can use turtles, which can be quite fun, and you can implement them in very fun ways. So let me just share how this works. So 50. So that means my guess was too low for the computer's number. So it's between 0 and 100, so that means it's 51 and above to 100. So I'm going to go for 60. So that's too high. So it's between 50 and 60, so let's go for 55, which is too low, which is 56 to 59. So I'm going to go for a nice 57. Too high, which means it has to be 56. I had one attempt left, and I got the number. Yay, game over. Not the best game ever, obviously, not gonna spend hours and hours on it, but it can be just quite a nice fun, uh, nice fun way of wasting a few minutes. Especially if you do Super Impossible, which gives you one attempt. Impossible gives you two. Those are quite fun. Did Impossible once, I got two tries, and I actually did do it, which is a very fun feeling of satisfaction. So Unity is what I'm gonna be using to do C Sharp, because Unity is great for free, for a free editor. And you can do a lot of good things with C Sharp, but obviously I need to learn it. So I'm gonna learn 
C sharp. And as, you, as I learn it, you guys are going to learn because I'm going to try and teach you it in a very simplified way, hopefully. Let me just show you one of the things I've actually done using um, C sharp thanks to a video I found because that's how you found this video, so why can't I use another video? So I've actually made a Pong game, which is something that everyone should make. Starts off quite simply, you know how Pong works. You went on the wrong side, boom. I actually have found a weird bug on my Pong. For some reason, if the ball goes out of bounds like this, that bat resets, but the other one should. So the exact same code, except for different coordinates, but it does not. I don't know why, that's not me. I feel like that's a Unity bug. I'm gonna blame it on Unity. So yeah, this is my Pong. We're just gonna leave that going while I talk about the next part of my amazing three-step plan for the channel. So that's art. So I am going to do speed art of my own personal things that I want to do. Not really uh, banners or icons maybe in the future. That's put more pressure on me and I didn't really like having to meet expectations because people probably think I'm better than I actually am and I'm not a great artist really. But I'm going to do art for my no for my games I'm going to make with Unity, which I did forget to mention, but I will be making my own games with Unity, which I will hopefully be releasing if you guys want it or are interested, or am I allowed to? If copyright stuff, that's for something else you're gonna find out, hmm, maybe a week. Who knows, you'll find out soon. But I will do my own personal things, like I've got a few things fun planned, which is All Might, Midoriya, Majin Buu, Todoroki, got some other Dragon Ball stuff and My Hero Academia stuff all coming, but I would I would like requests of what you want me to, what you want to see me draw. And the art, some of the art I make will be my games, like sprites, backgrounds, etc. Now the games. Games is interesting. On this channel, there will probably be no more gaming videos. Are you crying? I feel like I can hear you crying. But for some games, I might do an odd video, like for Dragon Ball Fighters with Strong Strange. That might be an exception. That's probably about it, unless other games like that come out. But with Strong Strange, I like playing Xenoverse 2 with him a lot. I mean, he always beats me, but it is fun. So any time I can and he wants me to record with him, I will join him and point all of you towards the channel because I probably will not be uploading it on my side anymore. But I will be doing testing of my own games and projects, etc. Also, perhaps every now and then I'm gonna be doing a vlog, maybe with my face. My face might be featured other things as well. Oh my Lord, I know. And I'll be talking about my progress with the channel and with my own personal level of skill with art and programming and talking about personal things with me perhaps and what's going to be happening on the channel, like new projects maybe or new art designs I have in store. Finally, another, another video will be coming out soon, going in more into this, but it will be targeted to more people who want to learn rather than people who know and want to expand their skills, like I've mentioned with Python. Begin a language, but you can do a lot of advanced things with it if you have a basic grasp of it. But these kind of videos, which I will be marking with kid-friendly because they are for schools, for teachers to teach their pupils, and for parents to help their kids learn, or for kids with parents' permission, to learn the very basics of Python. What makes Python Python? With its turtles and its Hello World, which I'll be teaching the first thing, because Hello World is everyone's first thing they should always make. But then we can maybe go on to advanced stuff maybe not too advanced like what i'll be doing on my normal videos i can show you how to do some cool stuff maybe make a basic game text-based games are all python can do what about unity though unity i keep saying unity don't i i mean c sharp what about c sharp c sharp i don't i do not know well enough at all yet to teach i'm not sure i ever will know well enough to teach if i do get good enough at it i will teach you because it's basically the situation of when i learn it you'll learn it in a simpler version that's what, you may be wondering though, why wouldn't we just go watch the Verson's video that I'm probably watching? Which is not a bad thing, by the way, if you want to be a programmer. Using someone else's code and adjusting it, adjusting it to your needs is a very good aspect of being a programmer. So why are you not going to go and watch them? Well, I'm basically going to be using what they're teaching me and trying teaching you it in a much more simplified way. Hopefully so that you can understand what's going on without confusion of anything. That's basically it for this channel update. Um, if you're wondering why I was all stuttering and stuff, it's 22 past 1. And I kind of recorded it already and the audio cut out. So I kind of just went, ah, and I'm quite tired. But hopefully I got all my points across for the Cyborg Reborn Protocol. And new banner, it's the same one as before, but just with a little 0111 and a little hidden message. It's not really that hidden, you should be able to see it, trust me. 
Yeah. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. But, that's not all. You don't think I'd be gone for this long and not leave a little surprise to you. When I said about these projects that I'll be announcing, well, project is coming. I can't really go, I'm not going into too many details now. I'll go in later. But, enjoy this little preview of what might be to do with it. Bye. <laughs>